Richie from Fret Junkies and we are back. Um, if you're new here, thanks for stopping by, I appreciate you. Um, this video we're going to be taking a revisit to an older video i done earlier in this year um, on the Epiphone 339, it's going to be up here, I'll drop a link in somewhere. And um, I had mentioned that I might go ahead and do some upgrades on the guitar. Uh, first of all I want to say there's really no need to. Um, the electrics, the pickups are fairly good, pretty good. I don't like push-pull, so they didn't really work for me. Um, and the pots were really okay. Um, but I think when you buy something at that price point, there's always room for upgrades, which is kind of fun, you know? Kind of kind of cool to explore what can be done. Um, so with that being said, I went and put in some Indigo Paths. Uh, these are a Path replica. And... Um, and they're very, very good. Uh, I mean, the clarity is like a single coil, but with like nice beef to them. It's just, just they just sound right. Um, and I've also swapped the magnet around in the neck uh, for an out of phase position in the middle, because I really like that kind of sound. And um, I've, got, I've now put in some Bumblebee capacitors. I say I've put in actually Paul from Retro 169. Um, it's pretty, he takes care of all my guitar work, body and electrics. I'll drop his link in also. Uh, but we went ahead and ordered some bits, um, which I will also leave a link to. Bumblebee capacitor, new pots, um, and yeah, it it is now quite easily um, one of my favourite guitars. Um, I leave it lying around the house. I think when they're this kind of price, you know, you don't you, you care for them. I care for every guitar, but it's they're not as, as precious as your high end kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I've just done a couple of easy upgrades. The pickup swaps are easy. The, the pots were very difficult because you have, you've got that F hole to work in basically. Um, so a lot of work with fishing, you know, wire and hooks um, to get it right. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to finish out this year with, with a bit of my favorite gear from this year um, and show you how it sounds. Um, I'll play it clean. We'll show you the out of phase positions and a bit of dirt. Um, but yeah, this is the Epiphone ES339. It's a small body guitar made in China. I know now that they've just bought out the Inspired by Gibson um, versions, which have the different headstock. I'm not sure about the electrics, but um, you know, do you know what? I, I think you could pick these up really quite cheap now. And, um, and you know, this is not a sponsored video in any way. This is an independent kind of review or, you know, uh, independent for. And these are really an incredible guitar. Uh, for the price point, everything on it, the finish was amazing, uh, no sharp bits on the frets, um, just a really, really great guitar. Um, so without further ado, I think we'll go in. I'm going to plug direct into the Vibroverb. Uh, I'm going to drive the amp with the hot plate when we go dirty, so it'll be a pure signal. And um, we'll hear what the guitar now sounds like in contrast to what it used to sound like um, stock. And yeah, I just wanted to say as well, uh, you know, as I did say earlier, if you buy one of these, there's, there's really no need to do any of, uh, of these things to it um, because it plays great straight out of the box. I really enjoy the guitar straight out of the box, but I'm obviously now liking it a little better because I've tailored it to myself. So, yeah, this is Richie from Fret Junkies. If you're new, yeah, thanks for stopping by. And uh, if you're one of the team, I always appreciate you being here. Happy New Year. Let's get into it.
Thank <laughs> you. 